all of the late nights that I spent in the office. Um, Copy's actually the section that sends the paper to the printer every night, which means that we're in the office till at least one in the morning, sometimes three or four in the morning. And I think by nature of that, you kind of get close to the people that you're there late at night with, the designers, the other copy editors, you kind of bond with them. And I think that's something that's really made DB and Copy specifically feel like a family to me. I think one of my favorite memories at Daily Bruin was when the copy chief from the Washington Post came to visit and we went to lunch together and we all talked about our own experiences in copy and then later on she came to give a presentation at our copy staff meeting so we got to hear about her experiences and her journey to being copy chief at the Washington Post and I think this was a really great opportunity for all of us because we were able to see the professional outcomes of working in copy at a college publication and we were kind of able to learn how different copy sections function at professional organizations as well, um, which is really interesting because we were able to see the parallels between issues that they have and issues that we have. And it was kind of comforting to know that even at a professional publication, they can have some of the same problems and experiences and joys of working in copy as well. One of my favorite projects that I've worked on in copy is our internal style guide, which is called Hoot. A few of us got together with our online team and our design team and really like sat down and figured out not only like the individual entries that were gonna go in the style guide, but also how it was gonna function as a website, which was really, really cool. So we got to build um, this internal website that everyone at the Daily Brewing can have access to and they can look up anything from how to spell jam steps to whether we capitalize new student orientation or not and any number of other things that aren't necessarily in the associated press style guide but are specific to UCLA. Um, the Westwood community and the Daily Bruin. Copy's a little bit unique in that we're very much behind the scenes. So I think the impact that we hope to have on the paper is kind of, we hope that the UCLA community picks up the Daily Bruin and knows that everything in there is factually accurate and reputable because we take the time to check every single fact that goes into the paper. We spend the time to make sure everything is grammatically correct, stylistically consistent, things like that. And I think we take a lot of pride in knowing that we don't have a lot of corrections, um, we're getting things right, and so like that. So I think at the end of the day, our goal is to be the reader's advocate, but also make sure that the Daily Bruin is a trustworthy news source.